Hello guys and welcome to another episode of me watching Michael Jackson music videos for the first time ever. We're starting off with Stranger in Moscow, which is a song I'm not sure if I've heard before. The title doesn't ring any bells, but of course I will let you guys know if I have heard it. But before we get into it, I just want to address a few comments that I got in my first Michael video. I think some people got the idea that it was my first time ever hearing anything from Michael Jackson, and that is definitely not the case. I've seen so many of his music videos. I mean, they were playing all day when he passed away. I was like 12 years old around the time, and that's when I became more familiar with his work. But yeah, the title of this video is Watching Michael Jackson Music Videos for the First Time, and that's what I've always done. This is just my first time watching these specific music videos, but in certain cases, it will also be my first time hearing the song, and when that is the case, I will let you guys know. Just thought I'd clarify that. Anywho, let's get into Stranger in Moscow. <laughs> Definitely not heard this before. But I'm loving the drums, especially the percussion. video is so visually stunning. voice is crystal clear on this track.
So that track was absolutely stunning. Uh, loved the instrumentation, and it's definitely a new favorite vocal performance of mine from Michael. And lyrically, I took that whole song as a metaphor, like he wasn't actually in Moscow. And I am saying Moscow because I feel like that's the correct pronunciation for the city in Russia. But as I was saying, I feel like he was using Moscow as a metaphor for basically any place where you feel alienated. And it seems like he was feeling very lonely at the time. And I know he was ridiculously famous and rich in the 90s, but he also had some very unfortunate things going around involving his name in the public eye. So I feel like that track was just the combination of all those things going on in his head. But anywho, next up we have Jam. This title does not ring a bell either. These transitions are wild. <laughs> Okay, this is also my first time hearing this song. <laughs> The sense of rhythm is on full display with this track. That's a cool shot.
It ain't too hard for me to jam. 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 I feel like this track had to be created with choreography in mind because it's so fluid. Same timing, okay. Yeah, because you're taking your weight and you're pushing it back. And that's what creates the illusion. It's the weight shifting. Now, as this foot comes back, uh -huh. this the other one goes up and I think I got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did. Yeah, all right, all right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Need to hop for me to that's a lot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. It ain't too hard for me to jam. Oh. It ain't too hard for me to jam. Do this one. Yeah, yeah. It ain't too hard for me to jam. Oh. It ain't too hard for me to jam. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it ain't too hard for me to jam. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't too hard for me to jam. Oh. <laughs> it ain't too hard you for me got to... it. <laughs> wait, wait, what's so funny? <laughs> We're going to play some basketball. <laughs> Okay, that outro was great, but I was legitimately trying to take notes for Michael. He was giving free dance lessons. And unfortunately, I don't think I retain any of that information because I saw what he was doing and it'd probably take me half a year to get that choreography down, so I just stopped trying. Also, it's just now starting to click that I just watched Michael Jackson give Michael Jordan dance lessons. Kinda wild to say the least, but awesome. Very, very awesome. And in regards to the song, I feel like it's just Michael being his positive, uplifting self again. <laughs> I truly admire how dedicated he was to making the world a better place. And I remember a lot of you in the comments of my last Michael episode were saying he'd be devastated by the state of the world right now. And I couldn't agree more. All right, next up we have a Liberian girl.
Okay, wait a second. Did I just see Paul Abdul and Whoopi Goldberg? Or am I blind? I'm sure I'm going to have to look up who was in this video because I feel like I've already missed so many cameos. Oh well, let's keep rolling. Make him into another Michael Jackson. I'm sorry to pause again, but I'm seeing so many familiar faces and I want to shout out the names, but I'm scared of being wrong. <laughs> So I'm holding my tongue, but I also feel like I just saw Lionel Richie and John Travolta. Oh, you guys are gonna roast me. Who's directing this? Uh, uh, uh. You know, maybe, maybe you could have them rolled up with some kind of pull it. I could like string it, I could like pull them up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe things are kind of loose. You know what we're supposed to be doing? Well, all I know is that Michael called me. I guess when he gets here, let me know what we're supposed to do. Oh, you want to play off where I am? Hey, Mikey? No, but I think Bubbles is here. Oh, that's from the Cosby kid. And, uh, oh, there's the guy in LA Law. See? And, uh, there's the Incredible Hulk. And she says, do you love me? Yeah, you should see my hair in the morning before I wash it and comb it out. Do you? Yeah, I understand he wears disguises. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we should do the sequel to Jumpin' Jack Flash and Action Jack Jackson. <laughs> call it what? Yes, call it Action Jumpin' Jack Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> exactly which Michael Jackson are we talking about anyway? This song is so soothing. Okay, so I just took a look at the cast for the music video, and <laughs> as I thought, it was full of celebrity cameos. However, I knew a lot more of the people than I thought I would, so I'm happy about that. And turns out the person who I thought was Lionel Richie was actually Billy D. Williams. Don't know how I mixed that up, but oh well. Uh, <laughs> I thought that video was really cool, but I am going to have to listen to the song on its own because it was in the background. So yeah, I will definitely be checking that out later. Anywho, lastly, we have They Don't Care About Us, the Brazil version, and I've definitely heard this song, but haven't seen this music video. Let's get into it. Michael, eles não ligam pra gente.
I'm just amazed by the scale of this production. instruments. There are few things in this world more empowering than seeing Michael fully fired up. Empowering. Did I say that correctly? I feel like I might have slurred that word. Oh well, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I can't speak English. It is what it is. I mean, there's nothing left to the imagination with that track, and that's what I love about it. It's so in your face. But more importantly, the song is as young as ever in my opinion because <laughs> it's still so, so, so relevant. But you know, Michael referenced Dr. King in the track and Dr. King's dream came true. Well, I say that with an asterisk, but you know, because of that, I am hopeful that Michael's dream that I'm sure we all share will also be realized to some extent. I think that's all we can hope for at this point. <laughs> Also, guys, I am so sorry if you're hearing lawn equipment in the background. <laughs> I think the neighbors are cutting their grass, so yeah, sorry if you can hear that. Oh, also, out of this group, my immediate favorite would have to be Stranger in Moscow. That song was so pretty. Guys, I guess that's all for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can chat. Let me know what you thought of these songs and the music videos and what you'd like me to react to next. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Ha <laughs> ha